Hi guys, welcome to Cannon Hall Farm. Farmer Daryl here. And today we're going to go and meet our newest arrivals. That's right, you'll have seen already that we've got a family of mongoose. So what we're going to do, in the old fashioned sense, we're going to have a bit of an educational talk where you lot get to learn a little bit more about them. So come with me and let's meet our mongoose. So guys, here we are in the banded mongoose enclosure, our latest attraction here at Cannon Hall Farm. Now we've got four uh, males, uh, they're, they're hiding at the moment, they've got underground tunnels uh, which replicates uh, where they would live in their natural habitat. Now they come from Africa, um, more central and southeastern Africa, so they are quite a widespread um, animal. They're known as banded mongoose commonly, but they're known as mongoose mungo. Uh, which is their Latin uh, name. Now, um, they live in family groups, uh, just like meerkats, but they, the, the family groups can be as little as seven, as many as 40, and it's a quite even mix uh, with the banded mongooses, male and female, whereas in meerkat society, we tend to get a dominant female. Well, that doesn't happen with a banded mongoose. Um, all the females will breed, uh, and a female won't necessarily breed with the same male. She might breed with two or three uh, different males uh, when the time is right. So uh, a totally different complex family structure to our, to our meerkats. Now in the wild, uh, they would normally live in termite mounds, uh, egg, uh, old termite mounds. They'd take them over and they'd live there, but they'd only live there for three or four days. They're always on the move throughout their territory, uh, which, which stops predation. Now predators will be on the lookout for them and uh, predators come in the form of wild African wild hunting dogs in particular but also birds of prey as well would take abandoned mongoose, jackals also. Uh, so they keep moving. Now if the interesting thing when they're moving if they can't find an abandoned termite mound they will actually all group together and pile on top of one another with some of the larger adults facing outwards uh, for protection to be able to see if there's anything coming so that's an interesting fact and they'll stay like that for the night. Um, now when it comes to reproduction, uh, the females are pregnant for 60 to 70 days, normally around 61 days, and normally within a group, a pack as they are known, uh, all the females will litter pretty much around the same time so they can all uh, share in the babysitting duties. Another interesting fact about our banded mongoose is when the others in the group are out foraging, including mum and dad, they will be given a guardian who will look after them in the burrow uh, or termite mound and they, they like that for about three to four weeks but then at four weeks they will start going, the young will start going to forage themselves. The young are known as pups and there's normally between two and six in a litter but on average it equals out at four uh, in a litter. Now when they get to three months old they're actually um, nutrition independent they don't need the milk anymore they can eat and forage and feed uh, that the adults eat so normally that is beetles uh, millipedes things like that but they've even been known to take small snakes and frogs but when they're out foraging as youngsters they are designated one member of the pack uh, to stay with them and learn them how to forage protect them if any danger comes their way so it's like a babysitting service really so that's a really interesting fact uh, that our banded mongoose uh, have so it's great to have the mongoose finally here with us um, at Cannon Hall Farm. Four males at the moment. We will alter the group structure accordingly because we do intend to have them as part of a breeding program. In the wild, they're of least concern, but it's always good to have a backup uh, supply of these young animals in captivity, of course, and that's what we aim to do. So a couple of the males will move on to another collection and a couple of females will be brought in and the group aspect will then take shape. So thanks for joining us, but as always on our educational videos, I'll leave you with three questions. And the questions are number one, although they can have between two and six pups uh, when they have a litter, what is the average that they normally have? Number two, their Latin name. They're called banded mongoose to the common tongue, but what is their Latin name? So I hope you've been listening carefully and whereabouts in the world, for question number three, do our banded mongoose come from? So thanks for joining us. If you've liked what you've seen, do the liking and sharing bit. Uh, and hope to see you again soon for another educational video. Farmer Daryl at Cannon Hall Farm.